mention the Vietnam War, the images that come to mind might just look like this. However, for a Claremont County, Ohio man, some of what he captured during the war tells a different story. Uh, this know, is an awesome photo. Yeah. Uh, this is another child at the orphanage. This is another child at the orphanage. Ken Williamson deployed to the Vietnam War armed just like everyone else. I had an M14. M14. And a 45 sidearm. Okay. And an M79 grenade launcher. But perhaps the most important thing he loaded was his personal camera. When I got to Vietnam, uh, their camera was broken, so it's a good thing I had mine. As a wartime photographer, he would chronicle the work of the engineers. It's like part of the war you don't ever hear about. Building roads, asphalt, rock quarries. No, you don't ever hear about it, and it was a very dangerous mission for a lot of these guys. They were out there in the road, and... You know, we had to mine sweep the road that was there every day before we traveled on it. His work during his first deployment was recognized by higher ups, and soon he was reassigned to the engineer's headquarters. My commanding officer was a little upset. He said, don't you like it here? <laughs> I said, yes, sir, I like it here just fine, but I, don't like, know, I had no, no, I had no part idea. Of this. Yeah. I had no part of it. I Really, I had no part of it. He went from this dark room built out of an old bunker outfitted with a steel drum with lake water to rinse his photos to a real dark room and freedom to go anywhere. Traveled the whole country of South Vietnam from the DMZ to the Delta, documented what the engineers were doing. But it wasn't all he captured. This is one of the, the nuns that worked at the orphanage. She's getting water from the well. Through his couple of years in Vietnam, he captured so much of the normal life that continued outside of the bullets and carnage of war. You have to be very, very careful because you can go nuts on some beautiful flower and get blown up pretty easily. He left Vietnam in January of 1970 and has since gone back to visit the battlefields and bases he remembers now lush fields with little resemblance of the war i spent four months of my life on engineer hill right and i knew all the buildings i knew i knew the layout i spent time on guard duty three or four nights a week in the perimeter uh, so I, I knew it well and, and to go back and see that nothing was there it was it was sort of like wow that, that war was in my head you know it wasn't, uh, it wasn't something that's still there. So if you dissolved between the photos of, of the hill back then to now, you would just see that fade yeah. away. Yeah, yeah. Of course, so many Vietnam era veterans know that the war just doesn't fade away completely. And the effects of that war continue to impact so many of those veterans still today. Now, this coming Wednesday is National Vietnam War Veterans Day, and a special tribute will take place at Xavier University's CentOS Center. Vietnam veteran and former Pittsburgh Steeler Rocky Blyer is the keynote speaker there. The event is open to everyone, and you can find more information in this online story at WCPO.com slash homefront. Well, in Indiana.